Uh, my name is Agnes Guela. I'm a postdoctoral uh, immunologist currently based at the Kemri Wellcome Trust uh, Research Unit in Kilifi, Kenya. I work on understanding the impact of malnutrition on immunity in children. Yeah, so our research uh, is globally informed by the uh, observation from clinical trials and epidemiological studies that malnutrition um, results in, in an increased risk of uh, incidence, severity, and case fatality from common infections. And this is very uh, predominant in uh, low and middle income countries, and that's specifically in Africa and South Asia. And so we are trying to understand why is, is malnutrition resulting in this increased vulnerability in children. And ultimately, we hope to improve that. Right. So a recent study I did um, is, is actually based on this fact that we see this intricate link between um, undernutrition and infection. And the most plausible uh, hypothesis is, knowing that the immune system is a barrier in the body that protects you from infection, we think that um, if you're getting sick, if you're malnourished, then it means that perhaps malnutrition is causing a breakdown in that barrier, and that's why you're getting sick. So we recently looked at how a particular uh, set of immune cells called neutrophils, and these are very specialized cells in um, guarding the body against bacterial infections, are impacted by undernutrition, if at all. We had very interesting findings because we initially thought we would just find this global uh, eradication of function, but what we found was differential impact. So if you look at um, specific aspects of, of the functions of those cells, you find some functions actually conserved in the context of malnutrition, whereas some functions are really, really severely um, uh, blunted um, by undernutrition. So that was interesting. So the big question in the field um, uh, of, mal of malnutrition at the moment is actually the mechanisms. So we, we know that malnourished children get sicker or get sick more, more than others, and die more. The question is why? And we have, um, you know, with other scientists or other studies, published various findings, but clearly these have not been uh, either they've been insufficient or inappropriately designed to answer that question. So we still have a lot of gaps in our knowledge. For example, uh, in, in immunology, in just understanding how the immune system is a plethora of so many cells. And just studying one cell type is not enough. We really need this global picture of how the entirety of the immune system actually works together and either is, is impaired by uh, malnutrition or not, whichever way, and, and how, that, um, inter um, how those interactions ultimately result in, in, in this uh, phenotype that we are seeing, that if you're malnourished, you get sicker or you die more. You're more likely to die from illness. So of course our focus group um, are these malnourished children. We want the children to survive. I mean they are dying young and that's not a good thing. You know that this is in some of the um, UN sustainable uh, goals and one of them is to improve child health and so we hope that uh, the work we do will A, inform guidelines because the current guidelines are either not are sufficient to optimally tackle the problem or maybe inappropriate. Maybe we are using the wrong key for the right door uh, in a way. So we hope to design new interventions and also just to inform the field because a lot of the studies that were done in malnourished children occurred um, very early on and there have been recent advances in science in the analysis. Now we are capable of uh, doing omics analysis and really going in depth if you are uh, inquiring about what's wrong with a cell, you can go from the top of the cell membrane and really go deep into the nucleus and look at the molecular uh, phenotype or genotype and be able to really answer those questions in depth. And we still have not done that. So we hope to, but by, by answering these questions, we will inform the field to um, design new interventions and then inform guidelines and ultimately improve clinical care for these children. My vision for the future is for every child to survive. 
I do not, it, I mean, it's, it's very heartbreaking when you walk through the wards. It's an emotional part that you don't actually <laughs> like to interact with. But at the end of the day, these are not numbers. These are children. And um, we want them to survive. We want them to live beyond their fifth, fifth birthday. And after that, you know, their chances are, are, are of survival to adulthood are, are much better. And so that critical period between zero to five is a, is, a, is a part where, you know, if we get the right interventions and target them adequately and appropriately, then we really can improve the survival of these children.